Okay, my dear students. In continuation with the terms and terminology used in Mendelian genetics or in general genetics. In the previous, we came to know the definitions of zine, then allele or allelomorph, locus or loci, and then homozygous and heterozygous individuals. And now, next term is phenotype and genotype. Phenotype and genotype. So what it means? Observe in your class itself. We are going to find different colors in skin. We are going to find different height. Some of them may tall, some of them may short, some of them may medium and some colors were bright white colored and some were having blackish colored like necros what we're going to express about that one just by observing it is called phenotype phenotype means the group of externally expressed characters now for example in the node of the characters and in express smart TV in here TV just by observing Yatra Dhano, Gidda Dhano, Bella Dhano, Karga Dhano, Hairs Curly Adavo, Straight Adavo, Kanna Black Aitho, Brown Aitho, Cat Eyes Aitho, Skin Normal Godi Bannad Aitho, White Aitho, White Aitho, Albino Aitho, Eitha Ra, just by observing is called Phenotype. The group of externally expressed characters is called phenotype. Genotype. Genetic makeup of an individual. Genotype means genetic makeup of an individual is called genotype. Genetic makeup. Their characters are expressed by using the genes. For example, in pea plant, if the genotype is like this. What you are going to tell? It is heterozygous tall. Genes are used mod kondo characters are express mod kare. Adi kena ta kare kine genotype anta kare kine. But just observe modi characters are here jo pan ta kare. Adi kena ta kare kine phenotype anta kare kine. Phenotype means group of externally expressed characters and genotype means the genetic makeup of an individual is called phenotype genotype so the next one is pure line another term used in genetics is pure line pure line means if generation of individuals produces the offsprings of only one type in many generation one couple produces the individuals having similar to them very much similar and that becomes couple produces the individuals similar to them like this if a couples means if generation of individuals produces offsprings of only one type is called pure line without any change is known as the pure lines then dominant and recessiveness another term dominance and recessiveness dominance and recessiveness so what do you mean by dominant and recessiveness we use the term in law of dominance and recessiveness so dominance means it is a condition 
dominance means it is a condition in an allelic pair of characters it is a condition in an allelic pair of character in which one expresses itself to the exclusion of the other one expresses itself to the exclusion of the other is called dominant and recessive means it is a condition in an allelic pair of characters in which one is failed to express due to the dominant gene one is suppressed due to the dominant gene is called recessiveness i will show you in this case homozygous tall p plants with homozygous short p plants directly i will write f1 hybrids this one capital t small t what the character will going to tell for this genotype tall so now apply the statement dominance and recessiveness dominance it is a condition in an allelic pair of characters these two are allelic pairs it is a condition in an allelic pair of characters in which one is expressed what is expressed here is tall that is called dominant and other is suppressed what is suppressed here is short this is called recessive i think you will understand it is a condition in which it is a condition in an allelic pair of characters in which one is expressed to the exclusion of other is called dominant and one is suppressed due to the dominant gene is called recessive this is dominance and recessiveness next term that we are going to use in genetics is hybrid i am hybrid to my parents you are hybrid to your parents hybrid means the offspring of two parents that differs in one or more characters i am not exactly similar to my parents i am not exactly the xerox copy of my parents you are also not exactly the xerox copy of your parents we have some changes so that we are called as hybrids hybrid means offspring of two parents which differs in one or more characters which differs in one or more characters is called hybrid like that mono hybrid in one character di hybrid two tri hybrid three tetra hybrid four poly hybrid many next reciprocal cross it is the second cross of the same genotype it is the second cross of the same genotype in which there is reversal of sexes we are going to consider rough colored rats with smooth natured rats rough natured with smooth natured what this is first cross what is reciprocal cross reciprocal cross means it is the second cross of the same genotype where there is reversal of sexes sexes and reverse madbeka andre first cross nalle rough natured skin iddu male anta consider agidre male anta idre smooth nature iddu female anta idre second cross nalle en madbeku idanna female anta consider madkobeku idanna male anta consider madkobeku this is second cross and this is reciprocal to first not like that of mathematics mathematics nalle en helthivi a what is the reciprocal of a one bar a anta karithivi athwa a raised to minus 1 anta helthivi aa tara barengila understand or not en madbeku reciprocal cross antandre it is the second cross of the same genotype where there is reversal of sexes where there is reversal of sexes sexes and reverse madkobeku first male and female iddidra next em madbeku female and male anta consider madkondre adu enagutada first cross in the reciprocal cross agutte understand okay another term used is test cross the cross which involves f1 hybrids with parental recessive characters 
with parental recessive characters. Test cross. Mental test cross mode is One question is what is test cross? Why it is done? What is its significance? Two marks. Very simple. But it's very simple. Test cross is done. It is the cross of F1 hybrid. Directly I write F1 hybrid. Capital T, small t. It was like a stone. With parental recessive traits. F1 hybrid with parental recessive traits. This is test cross. Why Mendel done this test cross? To find his results. To find his results. Whether they are exact or accurate or not. Just write that one. That is enough. Why Mendel has done test cross? Because to find the results were exact, accurate or not. That is called test cross. So for that you conduct monohybrid test cross and dihybrid test cross. Monohybrid test cross ratio is 1 is to 1. Dihybrid test cross ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. You go through that one. Monohybrid to gold ring. Other the recessive parent to gold ring. Dihybrid to gold ring. F1 hybrid generation. Anna. Other the recessive parent to gold ring. Cross hakri. Nimug ratio is 1 is to 1 in case of monohybrid test cross and in case of dihybrid it is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. So this is the monohybrid test cross and dihybrid test cross. Then back cross. The cross which involves F1 hybrids with parental dominant traits. The cross which involves F1 hybrids with parental dominant traits is called back cross. Then pedigree, another term, not the top foot. Don't consider that one. Pedigree andre vamsha vali anta karati. Vamsha ruksha anta karati. I think manele hello anta barkirta na. Awa juwa hello anta naanimu. Class nai. Aur the poorthi nam vamshid pedigree avra tarata da. Andra bear ninda, yellinda start aage de. Yellinda bandhi dara. Yellel yara ritru ya avag generation start aage to. The ancestral history of an individual. None ancestors are the same. The same is 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 the same. The the offsprings or the children which are having the same maternal and paternal characters are called siblings or sibs. The offsprings which are having the same maternal and paternal characters are called siblings or sibs. This is about the first topic in Mandel that is in genetics, Mendel and his experiments. So go through the video. If you have any doubts, any clarifications, any queries appeared in your mind, don't hesitate to ask. Otherwise, you can message me or you may call me to clarify your doubts at any time. And within one or two days, I'm going to send the notes of entire topic. Go through that one and clarify your results. Thank you. Thank you dear students.